guys, welcome back to my vlog. Happy Chinese New Year! Hopefully by the time this video is up, it's still Chinese New Year. But I've been so busy lately with work and everything, I just didn't have the time to sit down and film. But I really wanted to make a vlog specifically for Chinese New Year, which is one of my favorite celebrations of all times. So my original idea was to make a uh, food version where I would get all the Chinese New Year snacks and food and try them out um, but I really wanted to mix something that I can actually give to my friends and family so um, at the end I switched ears and decided to make these super adorable ox figurines completely from scratch so once I decided to make these ox figurines the first thing I did was to go on YouTube and search for step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make an ox figurine. But then I wasn't able to find one particular uh, tutorial that taught me how to make these ox figurines, um, which I really needed because I haven't played with clay for so long. Um, but since I couldn't find a tutorial, I had to use my imagination as well as um, a uh, Chinese New Year couplet with a uh, ox cartoon. So based on that 2D image as well as my imagination, uh, which I combined and I uh, created this uh, ox figurine. So let's take a closer look at these super adorable figurines. So um, there are four different versions in total, but they are all basically sitting down on a base and they're holding on to different items, which resembles Chinese New Year. So this one here is holding on to a Mandarin orange, which stands for Daika Daile in Cantonese, and in English, it stands for luck all year long. And this one here is holding on to a gold ingot, um, so which stands for a fortune, so fortune all year long. And um, the third and the fourth version, um, they're pretty much the same, which is basically holding on to a Chinese New Year couplet. Um, and the word actually says fo in Cantonese, which stands for luck. So this one here was actually my original idea, making the entire word with black clay. Um, but then my boyfriend inspired me into making a different version with gold or yellow clay. Um, so at the end, I created this fourth version and it turned out pretty nice. But to be really honest, making the couplet actually took so long. It literally took as long. Um, the amount of time that it took is literally the same as making the entire figurine. So that's why um, these figurines that are holding on to a Chinese New Year couplet, they're actually limited edition. So with today's vlog, I want to show you guys how I made these ox figurines completely from scratch. So in front of me, I have four of which uh, are still in progress. So um, they're not baked yet, so they're still pretty soft, so I can still fix it or play around with it if I needed to. But then these ones um, that are in the V shape, these are actually all baked, So which means um, they're all hardened. As you can tell, they are pretty hard. So if you want to see how I made these ox figurines completely from scratch, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. So in front of me, I have uh, all the tools and equipments that I will be needing. So um, there's four different pieces of clay. So this big brown piece is actually for the body and the head. This one, this beigey color is for the nose as well as the mouth. And then this one here, a darker brown color, is for the horns. And then last but not least is the black color clay for the eyes and the eyebrows. So in terms of equipment, um, I really just need two pieces of equipment, um, including the blade as well as this uh, needle basically to smooth out the edges. But then if you don't have these equipment, you can actually use an X-Acto knife or um, use a bobby pin to kind of like um, use the round part to smooth out the different edges as well as a uh, toothpick to kind of like poke holes uh, for the eyes and the nostrils. All right, so let's get started. So first I need to measure out the, uh, the clay for the body. So I'm just gonna roll it out into a long tube 
and then use the blade to kind of cut out the piece I need for the body. All right, so uh, for the body, I think this would be enough. So I'm just gonna quickly roll it into uh, a ball shape and then slightly roll the top part to create a really small uh, ring drop. So I'm just gonna place it onto my uh, the mat here and just slightly push it down. I'm also going to just kind of push the back a little bit to create that straight back. And then for the tummy, I'm just going to make it a little bit more puffy um, because bigger the tummy, the cuter. And then next, I need to cut out a piece for the leg. So the leg, I don't need that many. So I'm just going to cut out a small piece of the clay. So I'm just going to roll it into a ball and then just going to uh, roll it out into a tube form and then placing it onto this cutting mat and then using the grid to uh, equally split it into half. Go. So for this piece, it's basically enough for uh, one of the leg. So I'm just going to roll it smooth into a smooth ball and then I'm going to create this rain drop shape for the leg and I'm just going to slightly pinch the end of the thicker part into a leg shape giving it kind of like the toes and then I'm going to quickly just put that next to the body so roughly kind of measure out where you want to put the legs and then do the same thing to the other piece of the leg, roll it out into a long shape, uh, raindrop shape, and then just pinch, pinch the thicker part, and then just placing it next to the body. Slightly push the ends back so that they are kind of like sticking onto the body clay. So next, it's time to connect the legs to the body. So I'm just going to use this um, needle tool to kind of smooth out. So I'm going to roll the, the leg, the back of it, and just slowly roll it, gently roll it, and smooth it out onto the body just so that the leg is now kind of like connected to the bottom of the body just like that all right and then i also need to do the same thing for the top part of the leg okay so next i need to measure out the clay for the arms so um the amount is kind of like the same as the leg but slightly smaller so again cut out a pea size of the brown dough and then roll it into a ball and then roll it into a slightly longer shape and then place it on the grid cut it evenly So in terms of making the arms, um, it's actually the same as making the legs, um, except you don't need to pinch the part, the, the hand, the thicker part. So I'm just going to roll it out like that into a, a long raindrop shape. And I'm just gonna do the same thing as well for the other arm. All right, so the arms, I'm actually not going to place it on the body just yet because um, I'm gonna wait until I measure out the head before I place the arms. So the next thing I need to do is basically cut out the head. So I'm just going to roll the, the remaining dough and then just kind of like eyeball how much clay I need for the head. This is enough for the head. Okay, 
So roll it um, into a ball shape and then again roll it into a, a really slight raindrop shape like what you did for the body and then just kind of like smooth out the top part a little bit and then I would just kind of place the head onto the body just to see if the size uh, makes sense. So with the head, it is slightly bigger than the body um, because it's just cuter that way. So um, I think this size is actually okay for the head. So I'm just gonna keep it like this for the head. So once we have measured out the head piece, we're gonna work on the nose and the mouth piece. And then I'm going to roll it into a ball shape like that okay and then I'm gonna roll it into like a oval shape and then I'm just gonna push it down like this oh I am missing one tool actually um, it's a rolling pin but it's okay if you don't have a rolling pin because if you have a mason jar like this you can actually use the mason jar to roll out the clay so uh, I'm just going to slightly roll the uh, the mouth and the nose piece just a little bit. All right. I'm just gonna check the shape to see if it's it looks nice. Okay, it looks fairly nice, but it needs to be longer because it needs to be able to wrap the uh, two sides of the cheeks. So that's why this one here is not quite long enough. Roll this out just a little bit more, but make sure you don't put too much pressure on it. Okay. And you can actually put a little more pressure on the edges um, because if you look at it from this angle, you can tell like it's a little bump. So on the sides, they are relatively more flat than the middle part. So I'm just gonna place this over the, the area that I want and then kind of like slightly bend it to see if this is where I want it to be. Okay, so once I kind of um, put the, the nose and the mouth piece on, I'm gonna do the same thing um, in terms of kind of like combining to two pieces of clay together. So again, starting from the edge, gently roll out the edge just so that it kind of like combines with the brown. I'm just gonna basically do it to um, all around the edge of the nose just to combine and secure this piece onto the head. I'm just going to um, basically using the exact same tool to kind of like roll out the, uh, the nose part to smooth out basically the entire nose and the mouth piece. And you can also use your uh, fingers as well just to kind of like lightly pinch, pinch it to the shape that you want. This is basically what the head piece looks like. So next, I'm actually going to um, place this head again onto my body piece, just to kind of like see if the sizes are okay. Looks pretty nice. So now that I have, I kind of know where the head piece is gonna be, I'm actually going to keep the head just right there and I will also place the arms to where it's supposed to be. And also with the arm piece, if it's holding onto a item, you try to um, place it just so that it's a little bit longer than where the leg piece ends, um, just because you need enough clay to kind of hug that um, whatever item that you need it to hold. So I think this here looks very nice. So I've decided that I want the arms to be right where I've placed them. 
So next, it's time to combine the arm pieces with the body. So again, I take my needle tool and then I just basically gently roll out the, uh, the back, the thinner part of the arm. All right, so this is the body piece with the arms and the legs connected. So I'm gonna put this aside first because I'm now going to focus on the head. Because as you know, the head, it's missing the ears as well as the horns. So next, I'm actually going to make the ears. Um, so the ear piece, I really just need a very small piece, like really just this size, a very, very small piece of clay is gonna do it. So uh, I'm actually going to roll this into a ball first and then roll it out into a longer piece, place it onto a bridge, and then just cut it. So with the ear piece, I'm again going to, uh, I'm actually going to, using my fingers, pinch it and to kind of give it a uh, triangular shape and then I'm actually going to flatten it so that it has this um, kind of like this triangular shape as well. So this is the ear piece. So I'm just going to um, take my needle tool again. So the tip, the pointy part is where the tip of the ears and I'm just gonna take my needle tool and just place it right at the middle of the pointy part so it creates that ear hole and then I'm just going to roll it, roll it out kind of push it in to create that indent to make that indent a little more obvious so this is what the ears looks like um, so next I'm just going to place it onto the area that I want. Um, so actually placing the ears took me a while um, because the ears, as you can see, like they are basically below. They are below where the horns are. Um, it took me a while to kind of like see if it should be like right behind the horns or in front of it or like uh, be parallel with the horns. So at the end, um, I decided to kind of put the ears um, a little bit um, behind the horns. Um, so kind of like this is basically where I'm going to place the ears. So I'm just going to um, place it onto the area that I think will look okay. So this is kind of like where I'm going to put the ears on. I'm just going to place it there for now. And then I'm going to be working on the second ear piece. So once you've decided on the area you want for the ears, then just again, roll out, gently roll out the edges. So again, this way you can actually connect the two pieces together. And when you're holding on to the head, make sure that you're not applying too much pressure because um, you will be kind of like changing the shape of the head if you apply too much pressure on it. All right, so I'm just gonna double check to see if the ears are all in place. And it looks good. So this is the headpiece with the uh, the ears. So next, we're gonna work on the horn. Um, so this clay is slightly darker in color compared to the body. So I'm just gonna roll this piece out. Again, you just really need like a small pea size for the horns. And then just going to equally divide this piece of dough. Um, so place it onto the grid and then carefully cut it. So in terms of creating the horn, it's basically the same procedure as creating the legs and the arms where you basically just roll out this um, dough into like a ball shape and then you just roll it into a raindrop. So this time you do need it to be uh, more pointier than the legs and the arms see if it's long enough if it's not if you want it to be a little bit longer then just roll out um roll it a little bit longer so that it's in a uh, longer raindrop shape like this 
and then just do the same thing to the other piece. So once you've created the long raindrop, um, you need to shape it into a horn shape. So I'm just going to kind of like use my fingers again to pinch just a little bit on one of the oops, one of the thicker sides uh, of the horn creating that surface, that flat surface that I'm going to be uh, using when I'm placing it onto the head. So I'm just going to see where I want to place the horn. So this here. Okay, so I'm going to put the horns here. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. So slightly, gently pinch. All right, so once you have the horns all uh, secured on the head, this is basically what it looks like. So our next step is to creating that arch uh, shape. So what you have to do is basically kind of push the pointy part inward. All right, so just do the same thing to the other side. So gently push. So this here is the head piece with the horns all attached. So what I need to do next is to basically um, create the nostril and also um, pinch a hole for the eyes. All right, and then I'm just going to uh, place the needle tool right in the middle of the nose and mouth piece and press it down gently to create this uh, really light line just so that I know um, where to place the nostrils. Take the pointy side of the needle tool and then point towards where I want the nostrils to be and then just put the tool inside just like that. So this is basically how you create the nostril, um, but I want to make the nostril more apparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to poke this straight into the nostril and then just going to kind of make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay, so this was the original uh, nostril that I made. And then this one is after I kind of poke the hole in to make it a little bit bigger. So this side looks a little more natural compared to um, the other side where I really just didn't do much. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other nostrils. So it's now time to poke uh, two holes for the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pick up the head again and I'm just gonna lightly put a dot on where I want the eyes to be. And the good thing about um, this clay is that even if you poke the dot there and you kind of think that, oh, the eyes are not not at the perfect um, area, you can actually just using uh, use the same needle tool and just flatten out that dot that you just make and then just place the dot again to wherever you want. So once you have decided on where you want to put the eyes, then just um, poke it in just a little bit more, create that hole. Just like that. So in terms of creating the eyeball and the, um, and the eyebrows, super important, uh, just take a really small piece of black clay and I'm just going to grab a tiny piece, literally it's super tiny piece of the clay for the eyeballs. So I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm not too sure if you guys can see it. So it's literally this amount of the clay is enough to make two eyes. So I'm just gonna roll it into a ball and then just kind of like cut it into half. All right, so I'm just going to, with one of the eye piece, again, I'm gonna roll it out into a small circle. This looks exactly like a sesame seed. And then using the uh, the needle tool, I'm just going to pick it up. It actually does stick to the tool itself. And then I'm gonna place the eyeball onto where I made the hole for the eyes. And once I place it on, I'm gonna just lightly push it down a little bit. 
All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eyes. All right, so now we have the eyes in place. So next is to create the eyebrows. So I'm gonna take the exact, uh, the same piece of black clay. I'm just gonna place it onto the mat and I'm gonna roll out a really thin piece, super thin, so that I can create the eyebrows. Okay, and then just cut it out into the length that you want. And then using the length of the piece that you cut, measure out the second piece. I don't know if you can see it. This is basically what the eyebrows look like. And I'm just gonna place it onto where I want it to be. All right, so I'm gonna place the eyebrows onto where I kind of wanted it to be. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other piece. So bend it just a little bit so that it's a little curvy. And then grab that piece, place it onto the face. All right, so once you have the eyebrows in place, then just gently push it down again. All right, so once you've added the details in for the head, it's time to combine the head piece with the body piece. So next, I'm going to place the head piece on. So make sure the head piece is right at where you want it to be. Um, so you might need to move it around. Um, to make sure that it's at the right position just so that it's not gonna fall back or uh, fall to the front. So next, I need to combine the two pieces together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, hold the top and the bottom like this and then using the exact same method, um, just like how I connected the arms, the horns and the ears onto um, the, the, the different parts, I'm just gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna push some of the dough up from the body so that the, uh, the clay from the body is kind of like blending with the, with the head, the bottom of the head. All right, so this is what it looks like once you kind of like combined the head piece with the, uh, with the body piece. So um, the next step would be basically just adding in whatever item that you want it to hold. So um, beforehand, I actually did make uh, the couplets uh, with the gold letter. So I'm actually just going to place that onto this box here. All right. So I'm just gonna quickly see where I want it to be holding. And then once you have decided on the uh, position that you want, then just lightly push it into the arms just so that it sticks to it. Yay. So this is another limited edition of the Ox figurine. Alright, so this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, Happy Chinese New Year. I wish you all the best of luck in the Year of the Ox. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next vlog. Bye-bye!